What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ryan here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today we're going to be reacting to the 11th episode of My School President. I am down to the wire. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and start. They look sleepy. Go back to sleep, baby. You wanna be here? What do you wanna do? Oh lord. Okay. When you have a clingy cat, it's, it's hard to get stuff done. <laughs> but I love it. Uh oh. Do not. Don't do a cliffhanger here. <gasps> we won! Oh, that is so satisfying. Finally. Imagine if they didn't win. I would be so mad. Ah. Uh. Totally well deserved. They went through so much. So they, they got this. They deserve this. Yay. Don't play with my feelings like that. I totally thought that was for real. <laughs> That's mean. Don't do that to me. So that was all a dream? Which part of that was real? So is mom okay? Or did that really happen and this is the day after? Now I'm nervous. Don't do me like that. Now I'm worried. What about you? Wait, did we lose her? Oh wait, they didn't win? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh yeah, that's disappointing. I'm disappointed. Hi, Oma. 
เป็นปะเป็นข้าวเสือแล้วอะแต่ข้าวปูจิ๋งแน่เลยกูไม่ว่างว่ะกูต้องไปเยี่ยมแม่เออกูเข้าใจแล้วก็ได้เลยนะนะนะกูมีทั้งไม่เวิร์กช็อปตอนเย็นต่อวันนี้แม่จะเปิดกล้องแล้วอะกูต้องกินข้าวกับพ่อส่วนกูต้องไปดีลแชร์กันใช่วะแค่นี้แพ้หน่อยมึงก็ยอมแล้วหรอแค่นี้ก็หนีแล้วมึงยุบๆไปหรอวงอ่ะมึงพูดกับเพื่อนอย่างนี้เนี่ยวะมึงมึงเข้ามามึงไม่เข้าใจกูหรอกวันนะเขาเดี๋ยวจะไปเยี่ยมมาอันไหนคำวะงั้นเดี๋ยวกูไปสัมภาษณ์มาแล้วกันโอ้ no Oh my God! What's happening? At least you're still there. It just takes. Sometimes it just takes one person, you know, to get everybody back together again eventually. It's hard because they all felt defeated after all of that, you know, after all the things that they've gone through, almost disbanding, fighting. And then they somehow turn it around, and they delivered a really awesome performance, and then only to lose. So that is that's hard to take in. Oh, well, she's still there. Yeah. Surgery, so it's gotta be. I'm surprised she's like that alert right now, and good for her.
Oh, so she knows. And she still worries about him. Even though she's the one that's in the, who's in the hospital. I mean, she's a mom. Of course she would worry about him. Also, yeah. Exactly. Damn, that's a nice hospital. They even got a balcony outside, I think. That's cute. That's fine. There he goes again, really li trying to do his best to lift his spirit. I love it. He's so good to him. So supportive. She's still trying to figure things out. Mom, you know. I wonder if she's gonna ask him about him. That is a beautiful home. I haven't seen the dad in so long. <laughs> Oh, 
What do you mean? Your He talked about that memory. That doesn't seem very convincing. It still feels off. Like, it feels awkward. I don't know. <laughs> Look at him. Don't, don't think about that. I mean, it's harder, it, it's easier for me to say it. But, no. No. He's not there yet. Does he not know? <laughs>
You're not alone anymore. That was tough. No, they do. We'll never know. He's so good. <laughs> He's such a good actor. Yeah. 
Let it out. That's so true. He's never left his side. Get y'all a 10. 10 is perfect. So supportive all the way through good times and not so good times. He's always there. I love it. Okay, we're missing a few people. Poor is always the last one standing. Oh. You also gotta go. Don't give up, poor. Don't give up. I forgot. I forgot about them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just them too. That's cute. Did you eat the entire thing? He's so optimistic. 
ิดละมั้งแล้วพวกมึงสองคนนะทำไมไม่ช่วยมันถือปล่อยมันถือคนเดียวมึงดูสภาพดิโอ้แล้วใครชิ่งกับคนแรกเออแล้วกูจะรู้ว่ามันเอาหัวท้ามาเอามึงนั่นแหละเอาไปเลยเลยเอาไปเลยไปเอาเขียงกันเว้ยความผิดกูเองอ่ะที่กูเป็นแบบเนี้ยเพราะว่ากูลืมไปแก้บนอ่ะหรือว่าไปเวนั้นนี่ไงวะเอ็งอ่ะที่กูเป็นแบบเนี้ยเพราะว่ากูลืมไปแก้ไปเวนั้นนี่ไงวะคือก็มึงจำได้ปะตอนที่เราไปทะเลกันอะเราไปว่าท้าบนเขาแล้วก็ปล่อยชนะไอ้เวฟอะสาธุกูบอกขอให้กูเลยไม่พลาดว่ะแล้วก็เชื่อเลยนะเว้ยมันจริงกูเลยไม่พลาดทางนี้เลยเชียกูเองขนลุกเลยเพราะนั่นแหละหลังจากวันนั้นอะไม่มีเวลาไปแก้บนเลยวะกูว่าไปเจอแต่เรื่องไปซวยเนี่ยจนมาหลังสุดก็แค่เนี้ยแหละมึงเรื่องใหญ่ขนาดเนี้ยทำไมมึงไม่บอกกูอ่ะกูเห็นพวกมึงที่เครียดอ่ะกูไม่อยากให้พวกมึงเครียดเพิ่มเฮ้ยแต่ไม่เป็นไรพวกมึงเดี๋ยวพวกเนี้ยกูไปแก้บนละสภาพมีจะไปแก้บนเดี๋ยวกูไปเรื่องมึงไม่ต้องมาไปอีกเดี๋ยวกูไปกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกูไปเองกจ s ส to h i ต that reset button. That's sweet. Here we go. Did you not know that? Oh no! He <laughs> woke up. Your only kid.
เรื่องจริงอ่ะสเปรดเอาลองคะนมเย็นแก้ว no lady ลองแป๊บนึงนะครับทั้งคู่นะไปรับลูกค้าเถอะปะว้าวแต่ว่าสุดยอดสิฉันไม่คาดการณ์ว่าจะเป็นแบบนี้ทุกทีนะครับแม่พอดีว่าประชุมลาดยาวนะครับแม่กินอะไรมาครับไม่เป็นไรหรอกแม่หลอกท้องมาแล้วอ่ะฉันจะบอกว่าอะไรกันเนี่ยฉันสวยมากเพื่อนชวนไปเที่ยวที่ทะเลอ่ะคราวนี้เพื่อนที่ไหนหรอI need more scenes with mom. Oh my god. What happened? <laughs> no. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Shit. How far is the walk? Right. He always looks so pissed. <laughs> 
เดี๋ยวพรุ่งนี้กูมาใหม่นะเฮ้ยไอ้ปอมชอบผิดมึงเลยเว้ยถึงกูจะแบกภาระมึงไม่ได้แต่กูแบกมึงได้นะเว้ยเรียกกูไอ้พัดเดินไปมาต่อShould have stretched first, maybe. <laughs> Limber up. Oh no, they're drinks. <laughs> oh, that is a steep walk. Oh my lord. Oh my. How are you supposed to take your car up there? Oh, maybe there's another way. That looks good. I want to try it. There's n o t h How far is this place? It's all the way up there. Oh my gosh. That's really high up. Really nice view though. So they're not even there yet. What is happening? Come on! 
so such a good scene. It was so intense, but I like that. They made up right there. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful shot. There we go. <laughs> Y'all needed some water. Where is this? It looks so beautiful. Oh, she asked for a copy of this? Or how did she get a hold of this? I can't believe she didn't know. Oh, I see. แน่นอนได้หรอกเรื่องนี้ใช่ไหมตอนนั้นลูกเราร้องไห้ร้องเพลงนี้ดูวันนี้ 
ทุกนอนทำนอนน่าจะดีดีที่นอนเลยแล้วถ้าโลกใบนี้มันโหดร้ายกับเราแล้ว That is a valid concern That was beautiful. Let's watch that again. I love that. I love that. What is he doing there? <laughs> But you made it. What? His leg hurts, not his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to do it for you. What's wrong? How about you both say? And then, then invite your parents. Hey, 
ันโอมาว่ะดีดีพี่เขาจะแอบถึงไหมวะฮะมีหรอกหรอฮะพี่ฮะไปแก้บ้านมึงคงโอเคขึ้นยังเนี่ยไปบ่วงนะเว้ยOh, it's the song that he performed in front of them. Look how reluctant he was to even listen to him. Hits them right in the fields.
This is so beautiful. They still make those things. Who's in the store? Oh my gosh, he's willing to wait that long? Good for you.
ก็ชมรมไงชมรมมีกฎว่าถ้ามีแฟนจนกว่าจะแข่งคอนเวนชั่นแนลใช่ไหมครับมึงไปเอาจากไหนวะมึงฟังดีๆกดชมรมกูถ้ามีแฟนจนกว่าจะแข่งคอนเวนจบนี่ไอโยมันยังเด็กแฟนกันเลยนะเดี๋ยวก่อนก็แปลว่าตอนนี้กูกับมึงก็Someone's in there. That's cute. This is it. Is this it?
That was such a good episode. Given that it's already episode 11, this episode still packed a punch. Episode 11 could have easily been broken up into two episodes because it had a lot going on in a good way. But I'm glad that they packed all of that into episode 11 and it was amazing. I totally fell for that dream sequence. I thought they really won. I was so happy for them because, you know, we, we saw how much they've struggled, how much they've accomplished to get to this point. So for them to just lose, it sucks. So understandably, they were pretty disappointed with the outcome of the competition and Gun really took it personally maybe more than any other members because you know he was the leader of the band and he couldn't be present as much as he wanted to there are a lot of things that he wished he could have done differently to possibly change the outcome of the competition he really blamed himself for that but I'm glad that Tin and Gun's mom were there to comfort him and to really let him know that you know you, you've done your best and it's okay so at that point I thought things were okay with Gun things are gonna get better from this point on but I was mistaken <laughs> Gun still had a lot more up his sleeves and it became very evident that the defeat of their band at the competition really hurt him a lot more than he probably realized the moment where he got on the stage to practice in preparation for prom night he was immediately reminded of the time they lost the competition and he couldn't contain himself. He really had to remove himself from the situation because it was still very fresh. And it was very obvious that he still had a lot of unresolved issues. I mean, they all did, but especially Gunn. Uh, unresolved issues that were preventing him from being able to give his 100% best in terms of performance. So the whole band in some form resented one another and had their own opinions as to who might have been responsible for them losing. And it got really personal and physical and it was ugly so it was really sad to see them point fingers and say hurtful things to each other because you know that they don't necessarily mean it but in the heat of the moment they've said some really hurtful things but i'm glad that they re eventually realized that they might have crossed the line and apologized to each other that scene when they're heading back to the temple to give their offering that has to be one of my favorite sequences of any bl that i've seen so far the progression and the escalation of each character's emotions and the delivery of each character's lines were just flawless it was so stressful it was chaotic it was so immersive i I felt like I was there. I felt like I was part of the group and just trying to process what the hell is going on. Really good job on that camera angle. I got emotional because, I mean, come on, it was a very moving scene and you could tell that they really care about each other and they genuinely want to see each other succeed. But given that they're still reeling from that devastating loss and really haven't had a chance to process and reflect on what's happened and let's not forget they're still very young and inexperienced when it comes to things like this and this might be their very first major defeat major loss so understandably they may not necessarily have the capacity to regulate their emotions the same way adults most adults or at least would hope that most adults would have so they just said whatever came to mind and that's why we got that fantastic scene on top of the hill. But what's even more impressive was that despite of almost beating each other up, the whole band was able to come out of this in one piece without any intervention from adults. But I want to specifically highlight one band member that I thought was very impressive in this episode and that was Poor. <sighs> Where do I even begin with him? He's such an amazing young person, amazing friend and a band member. He really believed in the band's ability to bounce back from that loss. He put in so much effort in getting everybody together and he really didn't give up on them. So in a way, he was like the glue of the band. And I thought him being injured symbolized the weakening of the already weakened relationship of their band members. Barely being held together by a single thread and that thread was poor. I'm so happy for him. I'm so proud of him for doing all of that because he really stuck it out. I mean, had he given up, I don't think we'd be seeing their band perform again. Even during times when no one was willing to put in any more effort and just ready to give up, he didn't. And it seems like his relationship with Two is also blossoming, so I'm really happy for him. So they needed this trip. Imagine if they didn't decide to come back here. I guess in a way that defeat was a blessing in disguise because had they not lost, they probably would not have gone back to this place. This place gave them the space and the opportunity to express themselves and to really reflect on what happened. And I thought Piak's attempt to cheer them up and to encourage them to keep going by 
showing them their own performance when they were starting out, the performance that they did in front of PX band. I thought that was so moving. I love that. And at this point, Tin's mom should already have enough information to safely assume that A, Tin is gay or at least attracted to men, and B, Tin is seeing gun. And her conversation with her husband was another highlight for me. It was incredibly moving, especially when she shared her concern about how the world might treat her son. And that hit me straight to the feels. It hit close to home. I immediately thought about my mom and how when I was growing up and how she would constantly have to defend me or get into fights because I was being teased for being gay. So Tin's mom's concern or fear rather of how the world may treat her son is a sentiment and a fear that I would imagine probably shared by so many parents who don't necessarily have a problem with their kids being gay but rather more afraid of how the society would treat their kids because they're gay. That was so powerful. And it didn't end there. You know, her husband said something simple but just as powerful. He said, if the world is cruel to our son, we should be his peace of mind. I'm like, oh my God, no words. That was so beautiful. That shit got me again. Although we can't control how the world would treat our son, but we can at least create the safe environment for him where he's free to be whoever he wants to be. The simplicity of that scene, but it was so moving. But yeah, that scene got me in a chokehold. <laughs> this was such an amazing episode, probably my favorite episode so far. Episode 11 takes the cake for me. This was such a long episode, but it didn't feel long. I think it was like an hour and 20 minute long. That's probably one of the longest single episodes I've seen of any VL series, but it didn't feel long. It had so much materials packed into one episode, but the flow was clean. So I love that. And on top of that, this episode peaked three times for me. This episode didn't have this one climactic scene, which usually happens towards the end. No, this one didn't have that. It had three that I can remember. The fights between the bandmates as they were walking up the hill, them singing to themselves and lifting each other up, and Tin's parents' conversation. Those three major scenes really stuck to me. So to stand out three times, in an episode like episode 11, that is impressive. Anyway, that is it for us today. What do you think of this episode? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time. But before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then, I will see you later.